it's Eddie here with Infinity Toys OKC. Just wanted to do another very quick spotlight video. I uh, wanted to spotlight my most recent uh, vintage toy acquisition, which as you can see is the Generation 1 or the G1 Transformers Red Alert. Red Alert, of course, as you know, is an Autobot and is the Autobot Security Director. And I was very excited to have had the opportunity to have acquired this great piece. Um, as you know, I'm more of a, a package collector, but very recently I have been getting into collecting uh, loose figures. And when I saw this red alert uh, come up, and I just could not bypass the opportunity to, to, uh, to, to get him. Because as you can see, he is 100% complete. Um, now, I, I do know that it is missing the, the, the checklist, and I believe there's another, uh, the, the Transformers uh, poster is missing, but other than that, it comes 100% complete. It has the instruction booklet, which I have not had a chance to look at yet. It has, of course, the red decoder strip, which we'll take a look at his stats here soon. Um, this is really cool. This is the unused sticker sheet for Red Alert. So stickers have never been applied. Here is his shoulder rocket launcher. Pretty cool. Here, of course, is his weapon. And this is really cool. These are the three missiles for his uh, shoulder rocket launcher and of course as you can see never been removed never been um, played with so that was very cool and a big selling point for me the box itself you know the one thing that all of you that have followed me on twitter or on my other youtube videos will know that i just love the artwork um from the vintage toys from the 80s. And I mean, Transform G1 Transformers, absolutely no difference at all whatsoever. I mean, look at that artwork of Red Alert. And of course, something that I've also been really starting to appreciate are the old price stickers. You know, these are um, something else that I think really adds character to these old packaging. Uh, so there is the front. And there, of course, is the top of it. Here is the side. And here is the back. You know, for something, uh, let me see here, 1985. So for something that's over 30 plus years old, I mean, it's still in very good shape. Of course, these packages that have the top flap, you always have the... Uh, it's a very common defect, or I shouldn't say defect, a very common uh, damage is the flap crease. But, you know, there is his biography. And let's take a quick look here. Let's see. I don't know whether it'll come through the video, but let's take a look. There is his stats. In regards to strength, intelligence, speed, endurance, rank, courage, firepower and skill so very cool very very cool so there's the package again again just man love the love the artwork okay so moving on this is the actual figure itself now, i am going to attempt to transform this the, uh, the idea for that came actually from a buddy of mine. Uh, his name is Luke, and he has a YouTube channel as well, uh, Reynolds Review. And I will put a link to his YouTube channel in, the, in the, the information section of this video. If you are not following him or if you have not subscribed to his channel, you definitely need to do so. It is an awesome, awesome channel, and Luke is a great, great guy. And he actually had a video, um, oh, I don't know when he put it out, but it was showcasing his Transformers collection. 
and in uh, I believe it was part one of his Transformers collection, he actually transformed a, a newer uh, Red Alert. So I wanted to try my hand, again, not had a chance to take a look at the instruction uh, booklets. I'm gonna try to transform this live for you guys today in this video, but before I do that, I mean, take a look at that. That is a great looking piece. I mean, I'm looking at it closely. I don't know if you guys can see, you do have some scuff marks there and there, but other than that, some discs, and it looks like, if you guys can tell, this is definitely a lot wider than the hood. It looks like this is starting to get a little off-white color, but I mean, for the most part, I can tell that this has been very well taken care of. I mean, the stickers are still excellent. Nothing is peeling. Um, just a great looking piece. And of course, you have the little heat sensor hologram here. Yep, let's see whether it works. May not work anymore after all these years. Who knows? Nope, I don't see it. But that's okay. So, what a great looking piece. Cannot say, well, I can't say that they don't make toys like they used to. You know, nowadays everything's a cheap plastic and this is actually, you can tell it's a little heavier than, than some of these newer toys. Or it's, so there are some good components to it. So anyway, let me, um, let me try again to, to, to go ahead and start the uh, transformation process. Again, Red Alert is a, a one that I've never had as a kid growing up. I've had Jazz, I had Optimus Prime, I've, I've had um, a whole bunch of the mini bots, um, but Red Alert is not one that I've ever had. So let's, let's give it a go here, wish me luck. Well, there you have it, guys. I was able to transform this pretty quickly. Still trying to figure out if his legs come apart or not. Not quite sure on that. But for the most part, again, it's, you know, 
I will say the arms are a little loose, but I mean, again, um, they still keep um, the position. Didn't want to go and put the the, uh, the shoulder rocket on. I will um, probably after this video, but there you have it. Very excited to, to have this vintage G1 Red Alert. Um, great stuff. And as always, you know, thank you for viewing this. Thank you for, for supporting the channel. And if you haven't, you know, please follow me on Twitter. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Again, I'm going to be posting more um, videos on stuff that I find uh, in the wild or stuff that I do acquire from, from um, vintage toys from the past. And as always, be safe. Uh, keep collecting. And like I always say, you know, hashtag vintage rules. Take care.